Okay, let's have a question. <coughs> uh, we're looking for arc sine 2i. So x is equal to arc sine 2i. It means that sine x is equal to 2i. And then from which that we can find a cosine. Cosine x is equal to <coughs> positive or negative square root 1 minus sine square x so which means equal to square root this is 4 right this is equal to 5 plus or minus <coughs> uh, therefore the uh, e to the i x which is equal to cosine x plus i sine x, which is equal to plus or minus a five, square root of five, and uh, sine x to i, therefore, is a minus two, right? Yeah. <clears throat> then i i x is equal to uh, natural log uh, square root plus or minus root 5 minus 2. <coughs> now here, square root positive or negative 5 minus 2 could have a, could be positive or negative. You know? If you take this positive, this is a positive. Then if you take ne negative, then it is a negative. Uh, log, uh, natural log, you know, only defined in uh, real, real numbers as positive, right? For negative, then it has to be complex number. Therefore, we have a two situation. That is a natural log root 5 minus 2 is a one case, and a natural log uh, negative root 5 minus 2 is another case because a natural log is a you know is a defined in a real number sense otherwise it, it will be a complex number so let's see if if this is the case natural log uh, square root 5 minus 2 then obviously that x is equal to negative i natural log uh, square root 5 minus 2, right? So that is uh, one solution. Okay, then what happens if it's a negative? Then i x is equal to natural log uh, negative root 5 minus 2. Then it has to be a, a complex number, right? A plus bi. Now then uh, natural log, uh, negative uh, root 5 minus 2 will be equal to e to the a plus bi, right? which is equal to e to the power a multiplied by e to the power bi. e to the b, e to the power bi is a cosine b plus i sine b. Yeah. And the left hand side, left hand side is a, a real number. The right hand side <coughs> is a complex number <coughs> with a imaginary part. So we then we know that the imaginary part must be zero. So for e, e to the power a times sine b must be zero because this side has no imaginary part. Then the b is equal to zero or pi. But B cannot be zero. If B were zero, then this number, you know, is no longer being complex number, it becomes a real. But this is a complex number, therefore B must be pi. 
therefore, uh, therefore, I uh, x is equal to a plus pi i. Okay. And what is a? Also, we know that e negative root 5 minus 2 is equal to a now e to the a times cosine uh -uh, e to the power a times cosine b. Cosine b is a pi, right? This is the negative one. Okay. B is in pi, therefore e to the power a times cosine is equal to this, the real part. This means that uh, e to the power a is equal to root 5 plus 2. Therefore, a is equal to uh, a is equal to natural log root 5 plus 2. Okay, now then uh, we have uh, i x is equal to what? i x is equal to a plus b. So it's uh, a is this natural log of root 5 plus 2. b b is pi, right? Plus i pi. Then you divide it by i, so we find x. x is equal to pi minus i natural log root 5 plus 2. So we find the other root. So we have two roots, right? This one and that one. But also that in trigonometry, uh, Well, in trigonometry, sine theta is equal to sine pi minus theta, right? Yeah, that this is theta. This is theta. This is pi minus theta. You know, this sine is the same. Sine is the same. So. Based on this identity, then we have uh, we have uh, x is equal to pi minus this, right? So x could be pi plus i natural log root five minus two. So that is another solution. And uh, since this is a solution, this is a solution, therefore, pi minus x is also solution, right? So x could be pi minus this one. It becomes i natural log root 5 plus 2. So that will be another solution. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. No, 4 principal uh, solutions. But we also we have we all know we also know that the sine theta is equal to sine two uh, n pi plus theta, right? Yes. Because if you angle you you're adding a multiple two pi's, you know the trig trig function will be the same. Therefore we have a four uh, more uh, what well, general fun right this is a solution then so x equal to we have a one two three four four solutions in general so this is a solution so x is equal to two n pi minus i 
natural log uh, root 5 minus 2. That's 1. Uh, since this is this is a solution, therefore general solution will be 2n pi plus pi minus pi natural log root 5 plus 2. Yeah. Now, since these two also solutions, then x is equal to 2n pi plus pi plus i natural log root 5 over 2. And uh, since this is a this is a solution, therefore the general solution could be 2n pi plus i natural log root 5 plus 2. So n is equal to n is a, a integer. Okay, that is, these are four are uh, general solution uh, towards this towards this equation, right? X equals arc sine two pi. All right, I I hope you follow. Uh, this is very nice question. And uh, I believe this is a very nice method to... Okay, uh, yes, I forget. You can verify the result. Now, how do we verify? Yeah, we verify this way. And we have this, right? We have this uh, e, to the, e to the rx is equal to plus or minus root 5 minus 2. So that's, that is the way we verify. We put the, we put our x here, <coughs> the solution here, and we calculate, use a, use a calculator, and uh, you get the result of this. Now this is a 0 0.236 approximately or negative is 4.236. Then this is the way we we can check our answer is correct or not. Okay. Thank you for your for your watching.